This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the newest addition to the Compliance Podcast Network, the Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance, and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. In compliance, the value of anonymous reporting is undeniable. But with Ethico, anonymity doesn't mean a loss of connection. Our blinded, two-way communication fosters an environment of trust and confidentiality, encouraging open and honest dialogue. It's not just about receiving reports. It's about understanding the story behind each one, creating a culture of integrity and respect. Transform your approach to anonymous reporting with Ethico. Begin your journey at ethico.com slash CPN, where you can book a demo, access an exclusive white paper by Tom Fox titled The ROI of Compliance, and utilize our free ROI calculator. For today's compliance tip of the day, I will ask you to think about layoff and separation issues and protecting against claims of retaliation. Treating employees with respect means listening to them and not showing them the door as quickly as possible with an escort to their car. From the compliance perspective, this could also mean some type of conversation where you ask a soon-to-be terminated employee if they are aware of any FCPA violations, any violations of the company's code of conduct, or any other conduct which might raise ethical or conflict of interest issues. You might even get an employee to sign some type of document that attests they are not aware of such conduct. I recognize this will not protect your company in all instances, but at least it is some evidence you can use later if the DOJ or SEC comes calling that an ex-employee has blown the whistle on your organization. Before the layoffs start, a compliance professional should work with the legal and HR departments to ensure that employee separation documents are in compliance with the SEC requirements requirements regarding confidentiality and separation agreements that prevents employees uh, that or that would prevent employees from bringing violations to appropriate legal or enforcement officials. Such documents must not have any language preventing an employee from taking such action. This means having appropriate or even adding language to such an agreement. When it comes to interacting with employees who are laid off or fired, the company needs to do many things to impl- to treat employees with as much dignity and care as possible. This means that uh, every company says they care, but the reality is many companies simply want to terminate employees off the, out the door and off the premises as quickly as possible. At times, this will include an escort off the premises. This action will make clear that not only do you not trust your employees, but it conveys the callous callous message of don't let the door hit you on the way out. Having such a, a much better attitude can go a long way towards keeping an employee from uh, going to the regulators and telling you if they are aware of any uh, code violation FCPA violation or other. So use the opportunity of separation and layoffs with trust and with clear concern for the employees, and it will go a long way if you use dignity. So this month's sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, including this podcast, is Ethico. Have you ever wondered about the ROI of your compliance program or had concerns with presenting budget proposals to your CFO? Well, I partnered with Ethico to write a white paper on the ROI of compliance and how you can think through compliance as an investment strategy. Ethico has put together a ROI calculator for you. Check them out on the website. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested 
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network.